So I think I'm just like a really nosy person and I know that I would wanna know what was inside of a Lush PR box. So I thought that's what I would do today. I got a package in the mail from Lush, which every time it still kind of is like a pinch me moment because I truly grew up being such a huge fan of the brand. So when I see mail from them, it's like, it gets me giddy. Anyways, it's been like three days sitting in my room because I didn't have a chance to film. So I have just been dying to open this up. I thought I would open it up on camera with you guys and kind of go through what a Lush PR box looks like. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's my address. Da, 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 da. There we go. Okay, so it is um a pretty hefty box. It says fragile on it. Now, if I had to guess what was inside of this box, I saw a lot of other bloggers talking about the new, like there's like 50 new vegan bath bombs that they launched. So if I had to guess, I'd put my money on that, but I truly don't know. I got some scissors here. Let's open this up. Are you guys ready for a unboxing ASMR? Why do these scissors break every single time? What am I doing? Oh, is this upside down? I think I did this wrong. I think this is the bottom side of the package. New! No. Is there a way I can edit undo? Okay, we're just gonna try to carefully close that side and open the other side. Let's try that again. I feel like a kid on Christmas right now. So there's a bunch of packing peanuts in here, which if you do not know, the Lush packing peanuts, they're actually biodegradable. I'm pretty sure they're made of potato starch or like corn starch. So if you were to put these in water, these would just kind of break down and dissolve. And I'm not gonna lie, they kind of smell like unsweetened corn pops. And one day I made my father eat one, which not my proudest moment, but <laughs> they are food grade and technically edible. So I was like, eat one of these, what does it taste like? And he did say that it tastes like an unsweetened corn pop. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not recommending this, but <laughs> that's actually what happened. Okay, so on the top here it says, ooh, I was right, the new bath bombs ingredient guide. Now you guys know I'm a huge junkie for ingredients. I really just love learning about products and ingredients and how things are made and what the purpose of things were. So I definitely will be reading a bunch about these. Whoa, there are seriously so many new bath bombs. I'm pretty sure, I think it's 50. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, the sushi one looks so cute. There's a yuzu and cocoa bath bomb. Okay, if you've been a long time viewer, you will know that Yuzu & Coco is one of my favorite fragrances and products from Lush. It used to be like a little bubble bar and then they made it into a shower gel, but now it's like discontinued and you can't really get it. I'm pretty sure unless you buy it in like one gift set, but it's super hard to get. Anyways, if I am reading this correctly, this is saying Yuzu & Coco bath bomb. Oh my goodness, girl. Lush just brings me, brings me pure happiness. Oh my God, there are so many good ones. I'm so excited, okay. This is also a paper on the top. It says, Kit Soon? Am I reading that right? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so it says, hi Jacqueline. And then in here, there's like a little Polaroid and it says TBT Lush Hall 2017. This was the very first time that I went to the Lush factory and it was honestly like the best day of my life. If you haven't seen that video, you have to go check it out. I am just truly, you know, living, living the dream. Okay, so basically this says it's actually the 30th birthday of bath bombs being invented and existing. And um, so in celebration of that, Lush has released 54, oh, I thought it was 50, 54 vegan and limited edition bath bombs, including some classics. Yeah, it's actually crazy. I mean, Lush is a very innovative, whoa, just hit my camera. Lush is a very innovative brand and they actually did kind of found a bath bomb and like they made them exist. And now there's so many companies that do knockoffs or similar things, but Lush was actually the one that birthed the idea. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow, this is super sweet. It says, thank you for being a part of our journey through the years and for making some of the most watched and loved Lush content out there. Oh, Lush is gonna make me cry. Anyways, super sweet little letter and picture. This is this is gonna go up on my lights back there. I normally hang Polaroids back there. Super cute. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna dump a bunch of these packing peanuts out on the floor. That way I can kind of like start to dig in here. Okay, so I got to like the first layer of goodies here. There's, oh, this is so cute. It's like a little, um, like a little sign, kind of like what they have in their shops. Like, you know, when you go into the stores, they have kind of like the reclaimed wood with the little like chalk signs. I'm fully serious when I say that this is gonna go in my little bathroom. It says, busy getting fizzy, Jacqueline Forbes X Lush Cosmetics. Guys, did I just manifest this? Out of all of the bath bombs, the one on the very top is the sushi bath bomb. Oh, mine's gotten a little uh, crushed upon, upon mailing. That's okay, we'll dust that off. This is the cutest little bath bomb ever. Look at it. Looks like a giant sushi roll. This definitely smells citrusy. 
a little candy like I would say like orange or like maybe lemon it's so good and it's just so cute I cannot get over it I mean I know you're not supposed to pick a bath bomb out just because it looks cute but I would totally just buy this because it looks cute um so I'm very excited to try that one Ooh, I did not even realize I think this is a giant I think there's a crate in here ah uh, this is gonna make a huge mess I feel like I'm an archaeologist right now just digging these treasures out of this box Okay, so there's actually a crate in there and it says Lush. It's like engraved in there on both sides. This is so cute. This is gonna be so perfect to display on my bath bombs. Right now I just have like a bunch of bath bombs kind of like jammed in like, it's an old like flower, uh, flower pot? No, um, vase, that's the word I'm looking for. They're all just kind of like stacked in a vase but it doesn't really fit them right. This is like literally how they're stored at the Lush store. Like, you know, like in the little sections and they're all piled up like a little pyramid. This is actually the coolest thing ever. I am truly, truly freaking out right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna start with the bath bombs that are in this pile here, and we'll just go through them. This one here is called Strawberries and Cream. Aww. Mmm, it smells kind of like, um, is it supposed to smell like American cream? It kind of smells like the yummy mummy fragrance to me, like the really sweet, kind of like sweet tart candy, strawberry. Actually, I guess it kind of smells like American cream. To me though, this doesn't even look like a bath bomb. It kind of looks like a bubble room, which is like one of their bubble bars that has like the cream filling in the middle. So I bet you this is gonna be very moisturizing. Wow, my uh, self-care Sundays are going to be very lovely. Okay, next up we've got a bath bomb here, which looks absolutely massive. This is the Seaweed Giant Bombshell. Ooh, seaweed. Now they already have a seaweed bath bomb. It's called, um, what is it called? Big Blue. And there's little chunks of seaweed inside. And it's actually like such a classic. Whoa, this is a big boy bath bomb. I mean, clearly it's tied together for a reason. It looks almost like you can't really see, but I bet you there's a ton of little pieces of seaweed inside. Mm, and it straight up just smells like the scenic um, shampoo bar that they have. It smells like sea salt and just like, almost like a very refreshing brisk walk on the beach. Like maybe you've got like a freshly squeezed lemonade in hand, the sun is beaming down, you can kind of smell the saltiness of the ocean. Yeah, very into this one. Okay, next up we have the geode bath bomb. Actually, I saw this on Instagram and it looks so beautiful, so I'm so excited about this. Wow, this is just such a treat. I feel so lucky right now. Whoa, look at this one. Oh, this is luster. This is like solid luster covered in this one. This literally looks like an amethyst bath bomb. It's so beautiful. Oh, the smell of this is actually, is it floral? It actually smells like something I've smelled before from Lush. What am I smelling? What is this? Why can't I put my finger on this? Okay, I'm actually gonna go to the uh, ingredient guide and check out what this is supposed to smell like. It says there's sea salt inside, popping candy. Oh, that's so cool. All the little like crystal rocks on top are popping candy. Oh, so there's lavender inside and bergamot oil. I actually wouldn't have guessed that. It doesn't smell like sleepy, which is like their lavender scented um, body lotion, but it definitely is like a bit more earthy and floral, but not too strong of a fragrance. So I'm excited to try that one out. Okay, next up here, I have the Harajuku bath bomb. Ooh, this one is like potent. I can smell this so strongly. Mmm. Whoa, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It smells like a mix of like something spicy, kind of like Cinder's bath bomb that comes out around Christmas time, but also mixed with like a floral kind of like Sakura bath bomb. Like if there was a flower, you know, freshly bloomed in the garden, but it was like a spicy cinnamon flower, that's what this would smell like. Whoa, that's really good. I'm very excited about this one. Also, it's just like a very pretty looking bath bomb. I'd be so curious to know how long it took them to create like all 54 of these bath bombs. Like were they planning this for like years? I mean, I'm sure they were. They're obviously a, they're a company that knows what they're doing. Okay, so it says Brazilian orange oil inside vanilla absolute. Is there no cinnamon? Is my nose leading me, leading me astray? Okay, I'm not seeing any ingredients in here that would be spicy at all. So maybe I'm just getting very confused with all these different fragrances in my room right now. But by the ingredients, it sounds like it should be very like sweet and delicate, but I'm getting spicy. So I'm still gonna, I'm gonna go with that answer still. Okay, next up, I've got Magna Bath Bomb. Magma. Is that gonna be like lava? Is that what magma is? Am I, is that a dumb question? Oh no, it's definitely lava. Your girl was right. Whoa, it's like a little, a little fireball. Oh, maybe this is why it was smelling so cinnamony because they were sitting next to each other in the crate. 
mm, this is straight up like cinnamon and like spicy kind of like okay <laughs> this actually kind of smells like there was one time I must have been I was actually in grade two and there was it was Valentine's Day and for some reason in my class there was like a competition of who could this couldn't have been the teachers that did this. Maybe this was just like a, a student thing that we decided to collectively do at lunchtime. But there was a bunch of cinnamon candy hearts like at our tables. And I think we kind of had like a challenge of who could eat the most cinnamon hearts. And of course, me being like the overly competitive, aggressive, you know, grade two student that I was, I was like, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat all the boys. So I ate like so many candy hearts, like those little cinnamon candy hearts. And I remember obviously, you know, being proud of my win and conquering all the other students, but my mouth was on fire. Like I truly couldn't even like talk. I think my mouth was swollen. And for some reason that day at school, all the water fountains were like out. Like I guess the water was like not working or something. So I didn't have any water left in my lunch. So I had no way to kind of like quench my thirst and deal with the heat of my mouth. So literally ever since that day, I've never been able to eat like a cinnamon flavored candy ever again and this smells I'm not kidding you exactly like those candy hearts like it, it's truly a lovely scent but it just kind of you know takes me back to that unfortunate unfortunate win in my childhood mm, I feel like this would be so good on like a cold night you just kind of want to like cozy up in the bath definitely a very warming fragrance okay next up in here I have lucky cat bath bomb Oh, baby, she is shimmery. Look at this little pink baby. I just love the little bath bombs that are little creatures like this. I think I just, you know, enjoy having them sitting in my bathroom. Mm, the smell of this one is definitely more floral. I'd want to say like, it's not jasmine. What is that? Just kidding. I was right. It is jasmine. <laughs> Sometimes I'm right on the ball and other times I'm like, I'm nowhere near the scent. It is jasmine inside. There's also neroli oil. Neroli is one of those really cool ingredients that actually has been like scientifically proven to boost the serotonin levels in your brain, which basically are the things that make you feel happiness. So um, this is like a happy bath bomb for sure, which is very fitting with the lucky cat name. Mm, the smell is like definitely very heavy though and like very like sexy. <laughs> it's a sexy bath bomb, can't you tell? Okay, this here is called Kitsune. Am I saying that right? Kitsune? The Kitsune bath bomb. And this, oh baby, this is like the golden clamshell. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a very Jaclyn fragrance. This smells to me like the dragon's egg bath bomb. There's a ton of really punchy citrus inside, like lime, orange oil, lemon. It kind of smells like super intense Pez candies, which is how I describe the dragon's egg bath bomb. I'd actually be so curious to smell the dragon's egg bath bomb next to this because I swear they smell exactly the same. It's just like a very like wakes you up, very intense citrusy uplifting fragrance, which I love. Mm, this is just right up my alley. I love that smell. Do I have bath bomb on my nose? Hopefully not. Okay, next up I've got the groovy kind of love bath bomb. Wow, these names have been so fun. I think honestly like a life goal of mine is to name a bath bomb. I've always wanted to, ever since I was young, I used to be into nail polish and that's kind of how I got into makeup and like all this bath care and like skincare, all that stuff. Um, anyway, so my dream as like a child was to have an entire range of nail polish um, and to name all the nail polish names. And now that I've like, you know, gotten a bit older, that, that dream still exists. So I'm not sure if I wanna, I mean, name nail polishes or like a makeup line or just name a bath bomb range. But I mean, Lush, if you're ever looking for, you know, name generators, like someone that would name all your new bath bombs, hit me up. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm bursting with bath bomb name ideas and it would truly just uh, fulfill a life goal of mine. Ooh, this is, um, oh, what am I smelling? First off, I haven't even acknowledged the craziness of this bath bomb. It's got tons of little like ridges inside and it's obviously neon rainbow colored, very funky, very groovy. Okay, the first time I smelled it, I thought it smelled like a candy and now it kind of smells like a bit floral, kind of like geranium or something. I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients for this one. Groovy. Oh, here we are. Okay, so there's rosewood oil inside, bergamot oil, ylang ylang oil. Oh, ooh, okay, I can see that. It's like a very subtle floral, but definitely on the sweet side. Like it smells kind of like a candied floral. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I'm gonna say. Candied floral scent. <laughs> okay, so that was everything that was in the crate here. I'm just gonna dump those out. I'm gonna regret doing that in about 30 minutes. Okay, next up, I can still see that there's a few more things inside of this, um, the box here. I'm gonna keep digging around to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, what is this? Oh, this says the Cumberland Crate Company. This must be the people that make the crates for Lush. That's awesome. Shout out to you guys. Thank you. Oh my goodness. There are packing peanuts all over the floor. Okay, I guess this is the final bath bomb. Oh, and a very fitting name. This is the 
royalty bath bomb. The best for last, apparently. Okay, so this, oh my goodness. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is straight up a crown. Okay, go off, Lush. Mmm, this is so good. This actually smells kind of like yognog to me. It smells kind of like caramelly and more like a dessert. Oh wow, honestly, I think this fragrance might be one of my favorites out of all the ones I've smelled. Like, I think I actually have a problem. My favorite fragrances are always things that smell like a baked good. Like, if it smells like it, like, freshly came out of the oven with a plate of cookies, I'm like, mm, that's my favorite, love it. Like, I don't know why I like all my bath products to smell edible, but I do. Wow, this is very good. Okay, I need to read, uh, need to read what's inside of these. The Royalty Bath Bomb. Okay, there is Jasmine Absolute inside, Ylang Ylang, Sandalwood, Vanilla Absolute, and Soy Milk Powder. Oh, wow, okay. I actually love soy milk powder in bath bombs because what the soy milk does, it actually is like very moisturizing ingredient. So it makes the bath kind of like a little milky and kind of creamy. So it feels really good on the skin. But I feel like the vanilla is the most overpowering fragrance of all of the ingredients in here. And that's what kind of makes it smell like a sweet kind of caramel. Mmm, so good. I'm very excited for this. I'm also curious what this will make the bath look like because I see there's like little bits of red. So I wonder if it'll kind of look like, you know, like a red and yellow sunset. Wow, that was so much fun. Honestly, I don't think I've been that excited to open up a PR package in a long time. I mean, obviously it goes without saying, like I feel so, so lucky to even receive mail like this from Lush. Um, it, it's still absolutely crazy, but I'm so excited to test these out. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram's at Jacqueline Forbes. I mean, go follow it. Uh, but I'm always doing little demos over there and showing you guys how I like the bath bombs and how they look in the water and doing demos and things like that. And kind of like the final follow-up to these hauls. So make sure you guys uh, go follow me over there and stay up to date with all of those reviews But I feel like before I go I feel like I should stack and open up all the bath bombs and like sit them in here Okay, so here are all the little bath bombs in the crate. Oh, it looks so good. I'm truly just so obsessed with this This is so cool. Okay um, Now that my room is completely a mess and there is bath bomb dust everywhere and packing peanuts and open containers and just things are everywhere. Um, I think it's time to uh, wrap this up. Anyways, that is everything that was inside of a Lush PR box. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And um, yeah, do I have anything else to say? No, I think I just need to go like have 12 baths right now and uh, test out all these new bath bombs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.